Oh my God, it's so bloody hot. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Youth Potential, a channel dedicated to helping young people with mental health problems. I have two books available, 102 Distraction Techniques and Self-Harm to Self-Harmony. Both of these books are only available on Amazon. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hello, my friend Scott here representing Youth Potential. Apologies once again, I have the fan on behind me because it's absolutely roasting. Um, so I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet. But it, it's something that I think about a lot. And when I'm talking to different people on social media, I get so many reoccurring themes. Um, so I just kind of want to boil it down to just a, a couple of sentences as well. I say a couple of sentences, a few sentences, but honestly, this is this is the best I can I, I can offer for this. And uh, I keep things simple because if I understand it and it's simple, it's a lot easier for me to convey and to express myself uh, to you guys. So, when it comes to self harm, how often do you say to yourself, "I want to stop," or "Why can't I stop?" or "I need to." just stop doing this and then and then obviously we get other people telling us that as well like you need to stop you need to quit and it's so pressurizing it is we feel under, we put ourselves under this pressure we have other people putting us under this pressure uh the mental health services as well are going to be doing exactly the same thing and we're kind of almost like pushed backed into a corner when it comes to recovery uh which is you know as I say, a combination of other people and ourselves. So we feel this pressure, and from time to time we try to come to the conclusion that we need to recover, we need to stop self-harming. And when we tell ourselves that we're going to stop, or we need to stop, or you say to yourself, I want to stop, that already is putting pressure on us, on ourselves. And, you know, obviously that becomes a problem. It's, it's detrimental to our expectations. We, we tell ourselves, you know, I want to stop or I'm not going to do this anymore or that's the last time. And then when the urges come, we try to wrestle it. And, you know, sometimes we do a good job and we do manage to not, not do it. But then more often than not, we've just fall straight back into it. We end up hurting ourselves. And then... And then we get, you know, really angry and frustrated with ourselves, and deservedly so. When we say we, we want to stop, you know, we're setting the expectation about here, okay? And when we land about here, we just, you know, we feel like we go back to square one all over again. It's not helpful, is it? It's not, it's not good for you. And because we keep doing this over and over and over again, you know, sometimes we'll go couple of months for example without hurting ourselves and then something happens and then we end up relapsing and we really beat ourselves up or there are other times when we're struggling with self-harm so much it's you know it's a daily routine even at times and again we beat ourselves up for it so we beat ourselves up we get really really obsessed with it yeah we've got the pressure from others pressure on ourselves we need to stop we need to quit we need to give up we, we can't keep going on like this yeah and we we hate ourselves we get so so annoyed it's easily easily done and no trust me i know i've been i've been there but what we really really should be doing and i've tried to explain this as best as i can in my why i don't aim for recovery video Instead of putting all of that time and attention on quitting, yeah, and we, we do enough of it, as soon as we're left alone or have nothing to distract us, you know, off, our mind goes wandering into that kind of, that level of thinking. And I know this is easy for me to say, and it's going to take practice, but it will pay off. You need to focus on the here and now, like your, your life, what's going on right now, just forget about trying to quit and give up on self-harm, okay? That's, that's not what you need at the forefront of your consciousness, all right? It's, 
you, you put it there and you're going to notice it all the time and you're going to be constantly checking yourself and measuring yourself against it and that's that's what leads to you just being stuck in that vicious cycle okay and we, we want to stay clear of that you want to stay clear of that all right so focus on the here and now and more importantly focus on what you can do if there's a particular situation that is really triggering you and it's really hard for you to cope with focusing on on what you can do about it you know pulling your in dragging yourself into that mindset yeah i know i know it's difficult it really is difficult and sometimes we need other people to remind us forgive me i'm absolutely roasting in here um you can probably see the sweat coming off me at the moment focus on what you can do all right stop focusing on all the barriers that are stopping you from being happy or getting to where you want to be all right you you, you really need to stay focused on the things that you can do little things all right even if it's little things that you can do even if it's just adjusting yourself emotionally to a situation which obviously starts with acceptance um but if there's something you don't like and you don't want to stand for it then you just look around what can you do well, what people in your life can help you point you in that direction okay so I really want if you're struggling with self harm I really want you to think about this and take that into consideration because the more I was telling myself that I need to give up I need to stop the more tension there was and the harder it was to stay focused and I've been so close to relapsing at times uh, over this last few months or sorry since the beginning of this year really but I've managed to not let anything happen it's been I think it's been about three months primarily since I've done any kind of self-harm like that it's not for me to it's not for me to gloat or it's not for me to uh, be comparable to others because that's not what we're here that's not what we're about here at Youth Potential so, to summarise, please focus on what you can do. Focus on the here and now. Don't put those "I must quit" self harm like blindfolds in front of your in front of your imagination because it's not going to help. I say a lot of the time, if you want to achieve something, you you really need to set a clear, defined, measurable goal. But with this, it's kind of the opposite. Yeah, it's learning to not be obsessed with it and focusing on all the things you can't do and the things that you hate it's just just trying just trying to turn it around and focusing on right now yourself what you can actually do thanks for watching everyone take care